Little dive this morning, a sad statistic that actually shocked a lot of people on our Facebook page. According to the Center for Disease Control, male veterinarians are more than twice as likely to die by suicide than the general population. Female veterinarians more than three and a half times as likely. Now the CDC says long hours, debt and stress, all factors. And a local vet tells us that doctors trained to treat our pets aren't necessarily trained on how to deal with the stress of their jobs or how to handle emotional or even hostile pet owners or if my dog dies I'm gonna kill myself I've gotten that before they don't train us how to deal with that in veterinary school I am not qualified to handle that level of intensity from people but we get it all the time yeah, pretty shocking our sunrisers think so as well a lot of you had a lot to say Jackie tells us this was a very sad story I had no idea how terrible things can get for people in this profession she went on to say, I'm incredibly grateful for all the vets who have taken care of our animals. And Renee tells us veterinarians are no different than doctors who treat humans. While in vet school, they should have a class on how to deal with patient loss and interaction with the patient's owner. They're human, just like the rest of us. And then Ann tells us she knew the suicide rate for veterinarians was high, but always assumed it was from seeing animals suffer and not being, not being able to fix them. She goes on to say, I had no idea about some of the terrible things they have to deal with. For more information on this story, we have it posted right now at carelovin.com. Meanwhile, you can join the conversation by using the hashtag Sunrisers on Facebook and Twitter. And like a lot of our Sunrisers, Chris, I also had no idea the suicide rates are so high among veterinarians. I mean, yeah, never thought about it until this morning, but I can see why. I mean, people love their animals. So, I mean, if they're getting bad news about their animals, I can see people unloading on them. Then they have to deal with, you know, euthanizations and stuff right. like that. So, yeah, stressful job. Hopefully they can get the help they need.